Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how you can download the ERA 5 climate data sets from CDS, the climate data store from this website using R and then we will uh, make the visualization. So this is what we are going to do today as you can see here. I have visualized the total precipitation data for the years 2020 to 2021 uh, for the southern Indian region. So without further ado, let's begin. First of all, you need to download, I mean, you you should load some libraries like ECM W4. So this one is very important because using this package, we will be uh, obtaining, downloading the data from Climate Data Store. And we need some more packages like Terra, SF and Raster, which, which can be used for visualization and rest uh, data manipulation okay the next step is to set a key so this key is required to download the data from the climate data store without this key you cannot download so from where you will obtain this key it's simple uh, you just go to this github page of ECM WF package the same package this one I have provided the link in the description and you will get the documentation here like how to download uh, what are the parameters and all mm, I'm scrolling down so we need the key now right so to get this key you have to create an ECM uh, WF account by doing a free registration so you go to this link I'm going to right click and open it Page not found because I have already created the free account, so that's why it's showing as page not found. And my account is here. You can see, see everything is there. Anyways, this is the first step, and after that, um, you have to create a CDS profile. This is the climate data store, right? So you have to create an account in this website as well, which I have already created. So if you click on this link, uh, for example use a profile link and open it yeah your account details will be visible there and sometimes you might have to log in uh, so if I scroll down you can see the account details and here you will find this personal access token so this is going to be the key using which you are going to query the the year of five data sets so just copy this and paste it here that's it after that you have to choose i mean which data set you should download so for that you can go to the climate data store you can uh, do the download from the website also but for me downloading the data using r is uh, very convenient so if you go to the climate data store and go to data sets uh, you can filter like based on the product type so in, in our demonstration, I'll be using reanalysis data, right? And the provider, sector, spatial coverage, I want the global data. So this way you can filter, filter out and find the data you want. Mm, but I have already done it and this is the data set I'm going to use. Era file and monthly average data from 1950 to present. And if I scroll down, you can see the data description. It's a gridded data and it's having global coverage and the, the resolution is 0 0.1 degree by 0 0.1 degree and if I scroll further down so this data set contains a lot of variables mm, variables related to wind uh, temperature evaporation and a lot lot more uh, variables so what we want is the total precipitation right so let me make a search yeah it's here total precipitation and its unit will be in meters so i'll just read the description uh, it is the accumulated liquid and frozen water including rain and snow that falls onto the earth's surface it is the sum of large scale precipitation hmm, that's it this is the data we want and i want it for the uh, southern India so how to download it so if I scroll up you will find an option called download here. just click there 
and here from the website also you can download by checking these boxes the product type the variable you want so in my case it's going to be product presentation and then you can choose the years you want the months like for 20 and 21 i want the data for all months so this is the monthly average data for each month there will be a single raster layer corresponding to the uh, monthly mean of total precipitation and the time will be there will be only one uh, time step in a month because we are not downloading hourly data right and then you have to provide the geographical area so it's preferable to provide the sub region you don't want the whole uh, the global precipitation data and you might be interested in uh, focusing on your region of interest so you can provide the uh, bounding box coordinates in these boxes and you can choose the data format and everything and finally this is very important because once you are done with all the above steps you have to accept the license to use Copernicus products so if you haven't put a tick on this box then you won't be able to query data and download it from the R environment so this is very important after creating an account uh, go to your data set and just click accept and if you are if you're planning to download the data from the website you can submit the form and if you go to request you will find your data ready to download here anyways we are not going to do that we'll be using R to query and to download then to visualize the data okay the first thing is to do is that load all these packages done control plus enter and if you are not having any of this library uh, just go to packages install and you have to uh, enter the name of the package you want and click install and it will be done next you have to set the key so i'm selecting this line and control plus enter the key has been set next you have to select the years so the years are going to be these two i mean yeah i'll run these two lines of code and if i select year and run it you can see 2020 and 2021 this is going to be the year variable and the month is going to be 010203 until 12 which is going to be the december so from january to december for two years 2020 and 2021 okay and next step is to prepare the list variable i mean the request variable so this is going to be a list containing all the parameters of our data set so first of all we need the data set short name which is going to be real reanalysis era 5 land monthly mean so from where you will get this short name it's simple if i go back to the website and this is the page of my data set and if you scroll down at the bottom you will find something called api request and if you click here on this drop down uh, button you will find something called data set so this is going to be the short name for the data set so just copy it and paste it paste it here that's it and after that the product type it's reanalysis data right and the variable you want to download so we have seen a lot of different different variables here right so you can specify which variable you want to download here so in my case it's going to be total precipitation and the year is going to be i have already already uh, prepared the variable 2020 to 2021 that i'll specify here and the month will also this variable i'll specify here and the time is going to be zero zero because we are going to download monthly average data and it doesn't contain any hourly uh, measurements and the format of the data i mean a data file we are going to obtain which is going to be net cdf format and the uh bounding box i mean bounding box for our area of interest so this these are the bounding box coordinates for south india and i've given in this order of north west south and east north west south and east 
And finally, this is going to be the name of the uh, NC file I'm going to save, which will get downloaded into my working directory. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to load the request variable now. Done. And it is in the next step that you have to run the call. So what happens is here is that using this WF request function, we are going to request. This means we are going to request this data set and it will be transferred, which means it will get downloaded and the path where you want to save it. So by providing this, it means that it will be stored in our current working directory. That's it. So I'm going to run the call now. You can see it out timeout set to one hours and the request is being processed now. Okay, the file is being downloaded now. Done, 100%. And the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to convert this NetCDF file, our file one. If I run it, you can see it's been saved as era 5 ppt precipitation.nc. So I'm going to load this nc file. Use, uh, I'm going to convert the nc file into raster brick. So I'll show you what's going to happen. So this is our nc file, file 1. And if I run this line of code, what happens is that we are going to create a raster brick object. So in this object, uh, we had uh, how many raster layers we had. Uh, I'm going to run this n layers function and you can see we, ha we are having 24 months. So for each month, there will be a raster layer containing the mean total precipitation value. So similarly, there will be 24 individual raster layers for two years, 12 plus 12. Okay, so what we have done here, we converted the NC file into a raster brick so that for each month there will be a single raster layer and the variable layer name is going to be tp which is total precipitation anyways if i go down you can plot all those individual raster layers by running this line of code i choose plot you can see all plots are being created now I mean, in this window, you can it only 16 uh, plots can be included, the remaining we can't. But anyway, this is not what I want. I want to take the mean of all these individual layers, all 24 layers I'm going to average. And for that, I'm going to run this line of code. Mean layer is going to be the mean of our raster brick object, tp raster stock, and the missing values will be removed if there are any done so now we have created a mean layer so if i run this you can see this is a raster layer and we have calculated the mean and the resolution you can see here and the minimum and maximum values for total precipitation uh, can be seen here okay finally let's do the plotting part using this plot function so i'm calling the plot function on our mean layer with which we just created done see this is it we have also added a title this main is it is the uh, title actually and finally I'm going to add a world map beneath the raster layer so that you can see the boundaries are visible now so that's it this is how you obtain data from climate data store the in this case, we use the era 5 reanalysis data of total precipitation from 2020 to 2021, the monthly average data. And if you want to query data from, say, 2000 to 2024, you can do it. You can try it with some other variables. So do check it out. And if you are, uh, I mean, facing some errors, do let me know in the comment box. And all the materials that we used, in, I mean, all the links that uh, I showed you during this tutorial will be given in the description file. I mean in the description. So check it out. Thank you.